Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how to embroider the decorative details for the Mother's Day Special Edition Embroidery. If you missed the first part of this tutorial, you can head over there to find out how to embroider the letters with the satin stitch technique. To start this video, I'm going to show you how to embroider this circle. If you've picked the other two designs, you can skip till the end to see how I embroidered the flower and the star details from the other two designs. On this part, I'll be using the technique called the back stitch to embroider the circle, zigzag on the metal, and the ribbons on the bottom. I'm going to start here, but you can always rotate the hoop around as you work on the circle. Start by poking your linen from the back as usual. For this technique, you'll be making a stitch by working backwards. So poke your needle down the linen, around 3mm behind the first spot, and come up 3mm again in front of that first spot. When doing the back stitch, I find that it's easier to use the scooping method. We also have a separate video for the back stitch technique, so you can check that out too for more details. So the key is to poke one step back and come out one step forward. Finish it off by making a stitch on the empty space here. Once I've tied a knot at the back, I'm gonna change the color of my floss and embroider the zigzag around it. For this part, we'll still be using the same back stitch technique. So once I've pulled the needle out, I'm gonna poke it into the corner behind and come out on the corner after. So moving backward before we move forward. And now I'll be repeating the same steps to create another stitch. If you find that it's hard to maneuver the scooping method, you can just do it the regular way. It is pretty much the same thing as backstitching the circle, but instead of creating a circle, you'll be creating zigzag lines. Once I'm done, I'm gonna tie a knot at the back, thread the needle with a yellow floss, and embroider the ribbons with the same backstitch technique. Once you get to the corner, you'll just embroider it the way you embroidered the zigzag. So moving backward before we move forward. And repeat the same thing for this corner.
And now I'll be embroidering the other ribbon the same way I did. And you're done! Moving on to the other two designs, I'm gonna show you how to embroider the flower and the stars here. Let's start with the flower. I'll start by stitching from the outer side to the center of the flower. Now I'm gonna poke through the outer side again and poke into the center. And we're gonna do that for a total of 7 times. Once I've tied a knot at the back, I'm gonna change the color of my floss and stitch the stem with the back stitch technique. For this technique, you'll be making a stitch by working backwards. So poke your needle down the linen, around 3mm behind the first spot, and come up 3mm again in front of that first spot. So the key is to poke one step back, and come out one step forward. And one last stitch for the stem. Now I'm gonna work on the leaves with the lazy daisy technique. Without cutting off the floss, come out here and poke halfway into the linen just on the right side of the first spot and out to the tip of the leaf. Without removing the needle, wrap the floss around the needle clockwise like this and pull the needle up. To secure it, make a tiny stitch on the outside of the loop like this. Now repeat the same step for the other leaf. We also have a separate video for the backstitch and the lazy daisy technique, so you can check that out too for more details. And you're done! For these stars, we'll also be using the backstitch technique to embroider. I'll start by poking from the center of the star to the outer side. Now I'm gonna poke through the outer side again, and poke into the center. And we're gonna do that for a total of 7 times. For this star, I'm going to start from this tip into the corner and out to the tip again and back into the corner. I'm just going to repeat the same step to finish this star.
for this star, I'm gonna repeat the same thing I did with the first star, but I only do four stitches in total. And now we're on the last star. And that's it! That is how you embroider the details on all these three designs. On the next part of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to finish and frame these embroideries. So see you there!